Uh, this is about a oh, 17 year old, if you can believe it. This is a 17 year old Honda commercial uh, lawnmower. There's the model. It's a HRC 216. Uh, as you can see, I take care of my equipment. This is, might even be more than 17 years old, but the thing still pretty much looks and runs like new. And uh, just did a you know spark plug change and oil change on it. But anyway, uh, I, I thought I'd show. I noticed whenever I got this thing, it, it was running at an awfully low RPM. I, I bought it. It was ready to go from a rental place. Uh, bought it new from a rental place here in town. But it was set up. It, it was only running about, uh, honestly, maybe 2,000, 2,100 RPM. And uh, I was having problems with the, you know, it was clogging. Even, uh, even wasn't that heavy a grass, not that wet, and it was clogging the chute. And uh, I did a little messing around on here, and uh, I got a lot more RPMs out of this thing. Nothing that's going to hurt it. Like I said, I've been running it for years this way. But anyway, just briefly here, what what I did to get it to run up faster. Here, you got this protector plate that goes on here that protects this throttle assembly linkage here. You got uh, two bolts on there that are oh, what are they? Ten millimeter couple of 10 millimeter bolts that go on there and uh, the two things that I did to get the RPMs out of this it was running in this hole right here I moved it down to the bottom hole so it was getting a longer throw and but the main thing is back here this is uh, I think this is a like an oil fed governor type assembly here that shaft goes into the engine and what I did is I loosened this 10 millimeter nut back here, used the flat blade screwdriver and spread this so that this linkage here was loose on the shaft. And what I did is in relationship to the shaft here, I moved it forward, moved it that way in relationship to the shaft. In other words, the shaft went back this way um, clockwise so in, in re relationship to this linkage arm the shaft here rotated that way and what that does is it takes up on this spring a little bit tighter when the throttles up and uh, it's not much honestly it's only only maybe a, a millimeter or two of movement um, just loosen it up with a, with a flat blade screwdriver, you know, loosen up that nut and spread that like you would a battery terminal. Rotate that linkage arm on the shaft so that, so that in relationship to the linkage arm, the shaft would rotate about one or two millimeters clockwise. And uh, it, it will pack the bag now like crazy. It's getting the full RPMs that it should. And uh, I tried everything else. These, these set screws up here don't do diddly shit. I mean, the, uh, the way this is set up up here, it's, it's, it's all spring loaded so that you, you know, none of these adjustments up here are gonna get you any more RPM. And uh, moving the adjustment here on the throttle cable doesn't do anything the only like i say the only thing that worked and it worked in a big way was was uh, rotating that shaft on the uh, governor and uh anyway here i'll fire it up you can hear it
about where it was. Uh, that's about where it was running when I got the thing. That that was top speed right there. Still goes back to an idle just fine, no problem. Shuts off beautiful. It doesn't affect anything else. And uh, I'm afraid if you get up in there and monkey around with, with uh, any of the other linkage up there, you're gonna affect, uh, you're gonna affect the idle, you're gonna affect the shut off. But uh, adjusting that arm that I pointed out in relation to the, uh, to that, uh, shaft that comes out of the engine that was the key and now it's been running like a champ for years and packs that bag tight absolutely tight no clogging issues nothing so anyway for what it's worth uh, if you uh, have any questions or comments uh, feel free to to leave a note on there and uh, that's all it was. Get the sun on it here once again. It's that. That shaft right there and that linky charm right there. I'm going to loosen that 10 millimeter nut spread so that it's not biting on the shaft anymore and uh, move that linkage arm forward in relationship to that shaft. Anyway, good luck with yours. And uh, from what I've seen, they haven't changed a lot through the years, which is a good thing. I think they've got a good design here. Uh, I've used the heck out of this thing over the last almost two decades have a good day thanks for watching adios